Hey guys, Addy here and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Kaz Review. Now I'm spicing this series up a little bit and going to let you guys know whether I feel this stuff pack is worth buying. So this episode we're going to be, be reviewing the Parenthood stuff pack. Now I know this is a little bit late and like way late. But I, if you haven't kept up with the channel, I have been away for two w months in Queensland. So, let's not hold off on this any longer. Let's jump in. This is Karina. She is going to be our creator sim model. So, a lot of these clothes I feel are very teenage-ish. And, you know, I kind of I kinda get why it's parenthood. But I feel this should have been a lot more adult clothes because, I mean, it's parenthood. You are parenting a kid in the game. So a lot of these, you know, I've quickly brushed through, checked them out, and I like this. And I like this in the plain stuff. The plain would look really good on an adult, but as soon as they bring the pat like the color patterns and the swatches, I don't know. I'm not feeling it as much. Now this shirt, I like the vest, but I am really more intrigued th with the shirt under the vest than I am over the vest. If you're like a swag, hippie kind of guy or girl, and that's what your character wants to be, this shirt would be really great for that. I'm not really the kind of person, because I play myself in The Sims, so it's very hard to sort of sit down and look at the fact, would I wear this? Personally, no. But I can see this shirt being really popular. This shirt, not so much. I'm not a fan of the colour swatches. I'm not a fan of the style. It looks very athletic, dance, dancey. So I guess if you are after a sim with that kind of style, I could see why you would do this. But I'm not feeling it. This shirt feels like something we already have in base game. And... I feel with other than the vertical lines that it's pretty much been just a retexture and recolor. I could be incorrect. It just looks very familiar to me. Now this shirt, I would say, is probably second favorite. I'd have to say this shirt is my favorite. Just because the different, like, I don't know, it's something we don't, haven't seen too much in the game. Uh, the colour palette is quite nice. It's not too bold or too strong. They're just nice and simple. I would say very athletic. As well as this. This feels very dancey, very teenagey. But as you can see, it's very retro. Like a lot of the colour palette is very young, like aimed at young generation. And very very retro. Now let's select this shirt and jump in and check out some of the bottoms. Now this would have to be my complete and absolute favorite item in this pack. How the shirt falls over the pants, like no matter how long it is, it looks absolutely fantastic. I love how they've got the shirt around the waist as well as how it falls on the jeans. Like if we can switch out this shirt for two seconds, just something a little bit higher. If you look at the top, this blends in with the shirt and then could have easily made that come down and look like really dodgy all the way, but they haven't. They've lifted it off the actual pant and they've done really well. And I'd be interested to know in the next episode when we check out the build buy items and get a little bit of gameplay in on how this is going to move. I think it'll be absolutely, it'll, hopefully it's done ab like flawlessly. I oddly like those red pants. I don't know why. Do we have any bright reds like that in jeans? Let me know. I, I've done a few of these, but I don't know. I can't remember. Now, this is pretty much the athletic pant when it comes to this pack. So, if we jump into here, a lot of, you know, this is very athletic as well as this. You know, I feel, I feel they've sort of picked, you know, like everyday wear, athletic, everyday wear. These are like pajama pants. We'll not jump across. Give me two seconds. Uh, we've got these jeans. Now, I like these jeans. I feel 
they are actually the one mature item that I would put on an elderly sim. Hey, look at that. The pattern is slightly off. Slightly off. Doesn't matter. I like a bit of differentia like differentiality. Ooh, big words. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is the pajama pant. I, I love a good pajama pant. Though I wish they would have a little more lingerie or something. I mean, obviously this wouldn't be good for a parenthood pack. I just mean in games in general. But uh, I, do, I do like these bunny patterns. It's also in the blue from memory. Where's the blue one? There it is. There's the blue. I I love these pants. That would have to be a second. I don't know. Guys, I'm loving the pants more than I am the tops. I don't know about you, but that's that's just me. I do like these pants. Though I wish they had a color palette without the stripe. This would have been good to see as a plain version as well. Or even just... I don't know. Could spice it up a little bit more. Now accessories, we have socks. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see those properly. I may have to chuck the pants on. Oh, look at that! Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so we have the sort of very soccer athletic looking, and then we get into the other sort of style where you know you could wear it with anything. Very, very young, very looking. Okay, uh, and the last but certainly not least for the female, we're still going to check out the males and the kids. Don't worry, haven't forgot about them. They are down here too. Oh. So this, I, I love the hairstyles in most of these packs. They have done very well. So if you are someone that loves, loves hair, any of these packs, I feel would be worth buying just for the hair alone sometimes but this is very young I do love the side braid it's a style that I wore when I was much younger in my uh, school years I can't complain about anything when it comes to this hair how the swatches look it's just absolutely amazing we also have this shorter hair now this comes in two slight different shades so if if you're sort of after the more close to the root look and this is like the regrowth look so a lot of this palette is very strong and bold colors where if you were to use this other one they're very sort of soft and faded colors which I personally do like the regrowth blending idea more than the bold look but you know, it's not bad, it's just like a term of preference. And this one here is the famous hairstyle that a lot of you guys have seen when the toddlers came out. They have carried this over for this, so now a parent can have frizzy hair, just like the kid. And I think that is awesome. So let's jump over to the male sim now and check this out out so a lot of these I feel are a lot kiddish not, not as kiddish but in terms of style you could get away with a teenager wearing this and as well as an adult so this is a jumper I I feel like they've done well in terms of having it as like pattern as well as plain Though I wouldn't have picked it to be pattern or plain with these swatches. Yeah. Anyway, this is sort of the same similar style as that cropped little shirt for the females. It is very sporty and athletic-y. This jacket, I like. I love this jacket in for males and I can see my sims wearing that this pajama top is carried over for both male and female it looks mm. and they've sort of adapted the vest to make it mm. like open and sort of more man style and they've done quite well with that as well as for the bottoms they've given us the good old basketball pants can't go wrong there now these pants I don't know if I like. They feel very creative, very paintery. So, I don't know. I wouldn't dress my sim in that personally. 
the pajama pants are the same they've also allowed this to carry over as well as this so much of these are much the same and I quite like how they've been able to make the make these like pant legs very feminine and then they've been able to make them and bring them across to be quite manly uh, I feel we don't have anything more oh okay this this is weird I don't know if this is meant to be the Sims version of the Teletubbies or if they they just like fruit bears I don't know how I feel about that that feels a little weird in my opinion and we seem to only have one hairstyle for the males but as you know packs when it comes to men <laughs> And their items are very much and quietly limited. Now, if we check out the hair, we've got two different hairstyles. We have the braided back look with the flowers. And they've got the half braid look around the back. And then we also have the short braided look, which is very... I mean, it's well textured. It's, it's not my style of hair, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I wouldn't say it was bad. But this looks like the female version and this looks like the male version so there would be no sort of real need for me to switch over to a male version of the sim so let's check out these clothes we've got the handprints can't go wrong with that oh we've also got okay so they haven't made this texture as they haven't made any clear oh well this jacket I love I want, ooh, I don't want that colour palette in real life though. That one was a bit, ugh. Would never, I, can't, I feel kind of disappointed because that's really nice. Those colours are really good. That's really nice. That, ugh, that's nice. That's nice. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is a lost cause. Is this like a mistexturing or is this just the way it was meant to be? I don't know. But I do like it in the plain look. This shirt, it looks like it's just been through the dryer. And it's got ripped and shredded because you forgot to take something sharp out of your pocket. <laughs> I don't know. But it's very teenagery, And this is quite nice too. This flannelette shirt, I can't complain about. I am loving this top. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have some full clothes item for the kids. Thank lordy for that. Okay, let's check. Ooh, it's nice. <gasps> oh, we skipped through. Let's not skip ahead. Let's not skip ahead. I love this. This is nice. Can't can't go past a nah, a, a jean denim shirt. Now this is a full piece for the pajamas. They, oh, they're adorable. Okay, I feel the kid stuff is slowly redeeming a lot in this pack. It's not all bad. There's a lot of good stuff, but oh, I'm loving this color, like color palette, guys. I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. And they've got the little kitties wear. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's jump into the pants. Now, they've carried it over. This is quite nice. This, ugh, okay. So are they going to have that weird same color palette? They are, ugh, okay. <laughs> and they've got a nice skirt. This is the first skirt in this pack. I like, ooh, hang on. Is that like a, oh, it's a little star pattern. Nice. Nice, okay. Is there any other excess? Oh, there's shoes. Oh, yes. I love flats in this game when it comes to... Flats are nice and simple and easy. But these are only for the kids. I kind of wish they had an adult version. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. So, the question is... Do you think that this is worth buying? For the Cas alone, I'm a bit torn in 50-50. There's a lot I don't like in this pack... But there's a lot that, in terms of the kids stuff, that I really do like in this pack. And as where the game stands, there's not very many items in the game that is really good for kids. So if I was to buy this stuff for the kids pack alone, I would. Like, just for the kids items. But there is more coming to this pack. 
I am currently going to be doing another video for the build and buy items. So this creator sim stuff alone is not all that we're going to be analyzing. So as this stands, I am torn very 50-50 on whether the parenthood pack is worth buying. But if you head on over to the next video, I'll full on analyze everything and let you guys know on whether this is worth it. So if you enjoyed this series and kind of like the adaptation and the changes I'm making, then give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments, do you think this is worth buying and do you like any or most of the creative sim items in this game so until next time guys i hope you have an awesome day it's great to be back and i hope to bring you guys much much more content than i have in the past two months see you guys next time bye